Hey guys, Chaotic Canvas here and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing my April budget of 2018. Um, I thought I should just go ahead and let you guys know that this is going to be a very decorated uh, budget. <laughs> um, but with that, I'm currently just showing you what I'll be using. I'll be using the silver headers. I'm going to be using the donut theme from Erin Condren and the mid-century circles pattern for my sticker sheet. I printed some more stickers that I made, so these are for the income. I also have these for my Happy Mail and my automatic savings. I made some new ones for my bills tracker, and I made some new stickers um, for the new way I'm going to budget this month. And then I made up some more no-spend stickers for the month of April. Okay, so first thing I'm starting out with is with my monthly view as usual I'm just putting down my payday stickers and I'll also be putting down my bills as well so this month I was able well, for the month of March, I was able to save up for um, my one month fun. It turned out to be tight <laughs> because I was still doing spending in the month of March. And I know what you guys are thinking. It wasn't all eating out, though that was a big part of it. But I actually ended up spending more on my business and my shops than I thought I was going to. I purchased a domain for my crochet shop. Um, I wanted to start a blog for it, which I'm currently working on. It's not ready to launch right now, but that's something I've been working on. And now I'm just putting down my automatic savings. Um, I figured since I went ahead and made like scheduled transfers for my online savings account, it would be wise. <laughs> Um, to put down uh, a tracker for it. So now we are getting into the budget aspect. I'm just going ahead and laying down my washi strips at the top. Um, I'm going to readjust that in a moment <laughs> because I wanted to cover the complete purple box. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is the new way that I'm going to be budgeting. Um, it's probably what you see with other YouTubers who do their budget. It's pretty similar, but of course, <laughs> I had to make stickers and completely personalize it. So I have my income sticker there, and I'm also putting down the little label where I'm going to write my income for the month of April. I'm going to separate that with a little pink washi strip that comes in the sticker sheet and rip that right off. Okay, then I'm going to lay down my expense sticker right here. So the way I'm going to budget uh, from here on out, hopefully, is I'm going to basically do my bills and my sinking funds first and then whatever like I have left from that will be the next section would be for savings and then after I allocate the savings is when I'm going to budget the rest. Um, I've kind of been wanting to do that, be able to pay yourself first and I thought it would be easier to do that with like a one, you know if you have all your money up front then it would be to try to stretch it from paycheck to paycheck which is why I really wanted to do the one month fund in the first place. Uh, so here right now I'm just separating the savings section. I got my little savings stickers that I made. All the clip art from this, um, these stickers are from a shop on Etsy from Digital Artsy. Um, the planner is an Erin Condren monthly deluxe planner. It is the large size, the 8.5 by 11. Uh, if you guys are have ever been interested in purchasing one of these planners I do have a referral code in the 
description box which I'm pretty sure you see on any channel that has this planner or any other Erin Condren products um, but you know if it's your first purchase you can use that referral code and it should send you an email if, um, when you sign up giving you a code that gives you 10 ten dollars off your purchase and because you would use my referral link I would get ten dollars off my purchase as well um, it's totally optional you don't have to do it but if you did I would be very grateful um, so now I'm just writing down all my bills now how I'm going to use this is a little bit differently I'm going to use this to write down you know the totals of all my bills that are due as well so like right under the bill I'll write down what's due and then in the little circles I'll check off when it's paid pretty much how I have been doing it but I'm just adding the prices there since I don't have it on the main budget So I am just going to finish this up with the bottom washi that I forgot to put down before and I'm going to put the Life is Sweet sticker down there as well. And that is how it's looking. Okay and I also put down the silver label um, so I can use the total months for this month's savings and this is an up close and personal look at how my budget for April is looking at least one page of it <laughs> Okay, so moving on, and this is where things get a little unnecessary, <laughs> and if you are not a pretty planner or a decorative planner, then you might either want to skip ahead or just click off the video completely, because this month I went really crazy with the drawing, as you can see, <laughs> as you can see, I even traced it out before I actually got on this uh, camera and started filming it. Um, the little coffee mug that I'm drawing is actually a, there's a tutorial on how to draw that. I didn't go through the whole tutorial, I just kind of freehanded it. So now I'm going in and um, drawing in the chocolate, making it seem like it's oozing in onto the page and dripping all over all the characters that I just drew in. So yeah, since I'm incorporating my savings into my actual budget, I did change out the savings wall to the monthly totals where the little muffin guy is. <laughs> Um, basically what I'm using that for is because I do my expense trackers and at the end of the month I like to add up the totals in the different categories that I did to see how much I spent in each category. It gives me a good idea as to what I should be budgeting in the future. So I went ahead and made a section for that. You know, and especially with eating out, that's, ho hopefully it'll get better in the future. You know, it won't be like, what was it, $155 in February or something like that? But pretty much all my other, pretty much all my other boxes are the same. Um, miscellaneous, I'm going to go back to using it the way I was in I believe it was February um, because I'm not expecting to make any miscellaneous purchases but if I do I do want to keep track of that because I know I had a lot of miscellaneous purchases in March 
which was pretty much for the business for the most part. So I guess they were more business related purchases than anything. And I guess I should mention what I'm using to um, color in and draw this stuff. I'm using the Tombow dual brush markers. Um, I have like three sets of them. I have the brights, the secondary palette, and the muted palette. Um, I've to ink in my drawing. I'm using the Faber Castell fine tip markers. I I want to say this one is the point three tip. It's the smaller tip. It's not the smallest, but it's like the second to the smallest tip. Now I'm going to go in and color in all the chocolate that's oozing all over my page. I gotta say, I really, I love the way this um, budget turned out. And I'm pretty sure that there will be quite a few of you who think this is excessive. And so if you're wondering, yes, I do keep these planners. And yes, I am the type of person that goes back and looks through all of their stuff, all of their old notebooks frequently. That's something that I love to do. I still have notebooks from middle school that I love to go back and look at. And yeah, so I don't mind, I especially don't mind doing this kind of stuff, even though it is just a budget planner. I do keep this kind of stuff. You know, it's like a, I guess, like a memoir, like a financial journal, financial diary or something. So here at the top I just went in with the dark brown Tombow dual brush marker and I'm coloring in all the petals uh, making it look like chocolate chips are raining down <laughs> into the chocolate. Um, later on, I don't think I did it on camera, but I did turn the put chocolate chips in the actual chocolate to make it look like cookie batter or something. It turned out really cute though. But here is an up close on this page and so here I actually forgot to write in all my bills so I took a quick moment to do that for you guys and tell me if you like like the setup. Do you like um, voiceover videos? Um, do you like like the up close and the like the different perspectives that you get? All right, and now we are moving on to the dot grid page, which is the I'm doing it the same way I always do it. My top three, my this month section, and my sinking funds box. Um, I kept along with the theme of the oozing chocolate. I wanted this to be more like dripping fudge or something. Um, I feel like I could have done more to it, but I don't, I don't know. I just did it. <laughs> so yeah.
going back in with the dark brown um, Tombow dual brush marker and coloring it in, making it look like nice oozing fudge. <laughs> Signo pen in white and just kind of highlighted the letters a little bit so this is what it looks like at the end um, I did the rest of the sinking funds box off camera and then lastly is my expense tracker and I will be using the Mid-Century Circles uh, sticker sheet from Erin Condren. Just going to paste, stick that on. And I'm going to set it up how I usually do. <laughs> Nothing's really changed from this. what the expense tracker looks like all right so I'll show you a quick flip through of April and that is the front page uh, you have your monthly view section and then finally you have the budget page you can see the little chocolate chips in there <laughs> and that is going to do it so guys I hope you guys enjoyed this setup of my budget for April you guys have a wonderful day.